Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be my first tutorial type video um, on Botania mod. Because uh, it's a little bit rough to start out with this mod, so I'm going to show you guys how I started. Because I don't think I've. I think I cut all that out of the first episode because it was too long. Um, yeah, so first we're going to need this, the Petal Apothecary, to really do anything. Um, so yeah, it just takes one flower of, or one flower petal of any kind, you get those just by breaking down a flower. And uh, yeah, so it takes one of those, two slabs at the top, and then cobblestone for the rest of this. And this is how you create the flowers that you're going to need. Um, every kind of flower, the ones that create mana, the ones that use mana, um, all your flowers. So the first flower you need, uh, I don't know where I put this, I'll throw it right here. Um, and oh yeah, you put water in this to start it. And the first flower you need is actually made out of these. It's called, uh, I think it's a pure daisy. Yeah, this. So as you can see, it takes four of the white petals, and you just put those in the apothecary, and you get your pure daisy. So I have four of those right there, and you just throw them in this. So yeah, you could hear those splash in there. I don't see them. Normally you see them. Um, and then when your recipe is finished, you throw a seed at it. So like that. And there. See, it gave me the pure daisy and use the water in there. So that's why I have this um, infinity pool. So whenever I make a flower, you have to refill it. But this pure daisy is how you start Botania. Uh, I'll put it over here in the corner. And what this does, I don't have any smooth stone. All right, I'll just make wood. Um, you put either smooth stone or wood around it, and it'll transform them into these, the living rocks or the living wood, and that's how you craft all your other things that aren't flowers. So like right here, I need, actually I need some petals first. I'll go ahead and use the blue, no, I'm going to need a lot of blue. Use the pink. Okay, so you need one petal, I think it's here actually, and then the rest of it's living wood leaving a little gap over here because it's the mana spreader. Uh, so you have the mana spreader, that'll gather the mana from the plants that create it and then send it to your mana pool to get filled up. And actually I'll show you how to make the mana pool in a second. Um, that's a finished mana pool, that's not the one that you can just craft. The one that you craft is this uh, diluted mana pool. <clears throat> so you make this and it holds almost no mana at all. <laughs> so you actually make two of those. You make one so that you can fill it up with mana, and then uh, you make another one to throw into the mana pool. Actually, I can show you guys that as soon as I get some flowers generating. Um, but yeah, that that you just those are the eight squares that this can transform. So if you want to make living wood, you just put logs around that flower, and there you go. And after a short amount of time, they'll transform into living wood. And I'll go ahead and pick these up. Um, so anything botania related you craft out of these living rocks, living wood, or the flower petals, and then some of the other random ingredients throughout Minecraft that make certain flowers and stuff. Uh, so what I need are some... actually, I'll use my book. Uh, this book you get at the beginning of the game, I'm pretty sure, and it tells you basically everything there is to know about this mod. So I need some mana generation, so I'm going to the generating flora and... Go to make an endo flame if I have the right ones on me. I don't have red. Okay, let me go get those flowers. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with those flowers. Uh, the brown one, I think it was the red one, and the light gray. Okay. Um, oh yeah, the book. So yeah, two brown ones. And actually, I need a mana petal. So this isn't the flower you would start out with. You need something to generate mana to get this one. So you usually make the day bloom first. Uh, there. So the mystical yellow petals. See, none of these are mana petals. So you just take apart one of the yellow flowers, a blue one, and then an orange one, or a light blue one. And then you combine them the same way I did with the pure daisy, and it gives you a day bloom. And I can show you. I've got a bunch of these up here. Um, they just passively generate mana during the day. And it's not it's not much, but it's it's what you have to start out with. So I've got a bunch of these. Just well, they're not doing anything right now because it's nighttime. But yeah, they just send mana to this mana spreader, and uh, the mana spreader sends it to the mana pool that it's pointing at. And then you can like mouse over the flowers with this. And I'll show you how to make this in a minute. 
um, and it tells you what they're connected to. So you see that it's lit up on the right side of my screen, and when I mouse over it, or when I mouse away, it goes away. Um, so right there, it highlights where it's sending its mana. And so if I look at this one, it's sending it to that, and this one's sending it to that. So yeah, um, I'll show you how to make that. It's pretty important. Um, it's made out of the living wood and some flower petals. So what is this called? Wand. Actually, I could just there. Uh, living wood twigs and flower petals and the twigs are two of the living wood so you just take two of those and mix a twig so you make three of those and then you take two flower petals and you combine it in that that shape to get that one of the forest and you can make it a different color based on what flowers you use you see the colors are changing on it so if you have a favorite color you can make it out of that kind of flower <laughs> I just kinda of threw mine together at the beginning of the game and haven't changed it yet so um, what were we doing? Making a flower. Okay, which flower did we want? Wanted, uh, where is it? Endoflame. Okay, so endoflame, uh, needed that red mana petal. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this into my mana pool that already has mana, and it'll turn my red petal into a mana petal, or a red mana petal. So, yeah, just throw that in. And it gave it back as a red mana petal, and that thing was full. That's why that's why you heard that go crazy, just because uh, this was completely full until I did that. So it had nowhere to send its mana, so it's just stored up. And there's one of those endo flames right there. Um, I use it for a lot of mana generation because I'm I haven't teched very far into Botania yet, so I'm still using the low tier flowers uh, like that one. And what was the recipe? One more time. Okay. Oh, wait, is that a... Oh, okay, I need another mana petal. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to do the same thing with these. I just throw all five of those petals in there, and then I throw a seed at it um, in the petal apothecary when I'm making my flower. And uh, it, it'll it just turn it into the... Actually, let me make a little pedestal. Ha, there. And I can throw them right in. So brown metal petal, red mana petal, then one of each of those, and then I think it was a light gray. Yeah, so you can see them in there, and those, as long as they match your recipe, then you're good to go. And it looks like they do. So I'm going to throw my seed in there, and did it work? Yes, yeah, so I have an endoflame now. Okay, so this endoflame I'm going to put near the mana spreader, and I don't have any coal. Okay, so, oh well, I'll just throw wood at it. I think wood will work. Maybe? No. Okay. Wait. I thought I heard it. Hold on, let me try again. Yeah, it is working. Okay. So yeah, it's sending mana. Um, it This this basically is a furnace. Anything that a furnace consumes as fuel, the endoflame will consume as fuel and uh, and convert it into mana. And this this mana pool is massive. It holds a ton of mana, <laughs> so you can't really tell a difference in the mana pool going up, but it it generates some mana. So now that we have that, I can show you this. This is how you get started. You uh, you get that diluted mana pool, and like I said, you need two of these: one to put on the ground, and the other one to throw into it. So you see the check mark? Whatever's in your hand, it'll show you if it can be thrown into it, and if there's enough mana to convert it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to throw it in there and it returned a mana pool. So that's that's how you get the good mana pool to actually convert things. And that diluted one, I don't think you could do anything with it other than make a real mana pool. So now that we've got this set up, I'm going to keep feeding this wood <laughs> for some mana. Uh, let's see, what other kind of flowers do we need? I think I want the hydro... what's it called? Hydrangea. Uh, blue mana petal, scion mana petal, yeah. Alright, so do I have those flowers? I don't have the scion one. Great, okay, I'll be right back when I have some of those. <laughs> Alright, so I went ahead and grabbed some charcoal so I can get more mana. And, yeah, okay. So, which ones did I need? I needed, uh, that's the wrong flower. I wanted, uh, this one. Okay, so a cyan mana petal and blue mana petal. Okay, get one of those. 
those in there. Alright, I got the scion. I need a blue. And I think I just threw them both. Give me that. Oh, there must not be enough mana in there. Yeah, see, the X shows you that you don't have enough mana in the pool. There, there, just changed. I got enough with that burst. Okay, so now I have the ones I need, I think. Long book. Yeah. And I just stole that thing's charcoal. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these after I fill this up. Um, I'm gonna throw these petals in here. Uh, one, two, and that, and that. One of these, and I think it was a pink one. Yeah, pink one. Okay, does that look right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. And throw a seed in there. Okay, so I got that. Alright, and that, uh, instead of, like, each flower generates mana differently. That one generates, uh, generates mana based on coal and furnace items. This one takes water sources and converts them to mana. And that's probably way too far away to actually work. So yeah, I'm gonna move that. Uh, where's my dirt? What am I trying to do here? Uh, let me build this and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me make this an infinity pool and then we'll put down the flower. Which one? This one? Yes. Okay. So this should be close enough. Um, it should eat water source blocks. At least that's how it showed in the picture. Yeah, yeah. So it just ate that. And uh, so it should have mana, but it gave it to that. And yeah, that's, that's one thing I like is when they're generating mana, it'll just automatically put it in that mana spreader so that it's ready to consume more. Um, I don't know how often that actually drinks the... Oh, that was pretty fast. Yeah, so see, it just all went in there. That seems quite a bit slower than these endo flames, but these are actively taking... Oh, that was too many. These are actively taking resources to turn it into mana, whereas the water thing is kind of automatic. Like, it's just... It's like an upgraded day bloom, I guess, because it's constantly going to suck up that water, and the water is going to regenerate because it's in, in uh, infinity pool and cost you nothing to do this. You just make the hydrangea and then put it next to an infinity pool and get mana. So uh, I think that's how I'm going to set up a little mana farm. I'm going to have a whole bunch of these hydrangeas uh, sucking up water to get me passive mana because it'll be much faster than that small day bloom farm I have going. Um, let's see, what other kind of flowers do we want to make right now? Uh, I can show you the other... where are they? The functional flora? Um, how about this? So this one, it makes your crops grow faster. And I don't have one of these yet, but as you can see, they take a lot of ingredients to make these functional flowers. Um, I don't know if I have all these ingredients. Uh, and you shift click to see the recipe of the redstone root. It's tall grass and redstone, so that's not hard. You just need some shears. And rune of the spring. Oh, geez, it takes other runes. <laughs> rune of fire. <laughs> And Rune of Fire is actually kind of expensive. You have to have gone to the Nether or have a friend willing to trade <laughs> for stuff in the Nether, which is what I did. That's how I got all my uh, Nether bricks and Nether wares traded with Andrew. Um, but yeah, those are kind of expensive, I guess. And then the Rune of Water. Oh, Mana Steel ingots. Okay, I could show you some Mana Steel. Uh, yeah, so those take iron, and you just throw those into the pool. And actually, that's the kind of armor I'm wearing is a uh, mana steel armor and these don't take damage they just drain mana as you can see in my uh, my experience bar down here I've got this blue mana pool at the bottom and if that runs out then that means my ring that I made is completely out of mana And if that runs out of mana I'll start taking durability damage right now all it does is drain mana instead of durability and this is equivalent to iron um, so it's it's not the best armor, but it's like unbreaking iron. So you never have to go through a whole bunch of iron repairing or getting new armor. And actually, I have enough mana in here to make a mana stealing it. So um, yeah, you can see the check mark. I just toss one in, and it converts it into mana steel. And this is used for a ton of things. Uh, yeah, like the chest plate and stuff, and the mana distributor. I don't have any of those yet, but I probably need them once I get a good mana farm going. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's the yeah, that's the mana ring I have. 
uh, Man of Steel ingots is what it takes, but you don't have to wear it as a ring. Um, you can just make one of these. It's a living rock surrounding the mana pearl, which is just an ender pearl tossed into a mana pool, or a mana diamond, which is just a diamond tossed into it. And this just sits in your inventory. I might even have one of those. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. So this mana tablet, um, it just takes up a slot in your inventory until you make it into a ring. But they do the same thing. They just hold mana for your armor to use when you um, take damage instead of losing durability. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, there's upgraded versions of Mana Steel. Like, there's a, a diamond version of it. Like, it, it blocks as much damage as diamond armor does, but it also doesn't lose durability. It just uh, lowers your mana when you take damage. And I think that's Terra? Terra Steel? Yeah, Terra Steel. Okay, so... Kind of jumping ahead, but I can show you how to make the Terra Steel ingots. Uh... Actually, that's going to take quite a while to explain that. Um, I might explain more of the process in another episode of this, but you have to make this. <laughs> and here, can I click that? Yes? Okay. So I had to make this, which takes all these runes, and you guys can look this up in your uh, Lexica Botania. And oh, yeah, you just shift click on it, and it'll tell you how to make whatever that is if it's a Botania based item. So you have to make this and then put it on top of these blocks, which is just living rock, lapis, living rock, and then it's a pattern. You can't, I guess you can't see it all because of this snow. There. So that's the pattern. It's a 3x3 checkerboard of living rock and um, that lapis. And then it, I think it also took a block of nether steel, or of uh, mana steel? Yeah, so it took a block of mana steel. So just making that kind of takes a while. And once you have that, you can make it in you can make terra steel but it's quite expensive you need a mana diamond a mana steel ingot and a mana pearl and you throw all three of these on top of this and then you have to feed it about half of a uh, half of a mana pool oops yeah half of this mana pool full of mana while it's transferring or uh, basically making that terra steel out of those three items so that that takes a lot of mana. I've actually not done it yet. Um, let me go get the ingredients and see if I can do that right now. I'm not sure if I have enough um, enough mana spreaders to send all this mana here quick enough. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. All right. So I made a few more of these mana spreaders. If they're right next to a mana pool, they'll drain mana from the pool to fuel themselves. So uh, I've got all these pointed at this. I think that's what you need to do. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Um, so it says I need, actually let me check one more time, it says I need one mana steel, I've got it, mana diamond, I've got it, and a mana pearl, and it should make a terra steel ingot. So, let's try this. Um, oh, and it also says if you pick them up during the process, any of these items that are sitting on top of it, then it wastes all the mana it's used this far. So, uh, don't... Yeah, don't don't pick them up <laughs> like that. Uh, get get on there. What are you doing there? Okay, they're all spamming mana, so I assume it's working. Oh wow. Okay, it's definitely working. Um, let's check the mana of this mana pool. It's not going down very fast, but it says it takes about half of a mana pool of mana to do this. I hope I've got enough spreaders to actually make it work. Um. We'll see. I'll sit here and uh, if anything happens, I'll cut it back in because this looks like it's going to take a while if it's really going to use half of this mana pool to make one ingot. But yeah, those are definitely expensive ingots uh, mana wise and item wise if they take ender pearl, iron ingot, and a diamond all enchanted with mana. So, yep, I'll be back. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> apparently if it takes more than five minutes, your items despawn. <laughs> so, looks like we're going to need more than however many I've got facing it. One, two, three, I think four of them are pulling from the pool. Uh, so it's going to take more than four of these things, shooting mana at it at a time, to actually create that Terra Steel ingot. 
it looks like they didn't even make it halfway. If they're trying to use half this pool and they didn't even use a fourth of it, I'm thinking we're going to need at least three pools completely surrounded by these mana spreaders uh, shooting mana at that thing to, f to get it fueled enough to make an ingot. So that kind of sucks. Wasted a diamond and an ender pearl and a bunch of mana, but um, that's all right. Um, that's how we learn. So now we know next time. That takes a lot of mana, but that's a pretty advanced thing. I probably shouldn't even be trying that now, but um, yeah. I think that's that's probably it for this tutorial type video. I don't know what to call them yet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get some more mana generation set up and hopefully hopefully get like a mana farm with a, enough of these to actually make terra steel. So that'd be cool to be able to wear the the green terra steel armor instead of my mana steel. All right guys, thanks for watching my tutorial on Botania. Uh this is going to be the first of a few of them because obviously this is a pretty big mod and there's a lot to do in it. So as I learn more about this throughout my Direwolf series, I'll be doing more of these um, when I find things cool or when somebody requests that I do a t tutorial on a certain part of these. Uh, yeah, but check out the other ones that I upload in the future if you're interested in this kind of thing. And uh, as always, don't forget to marathon some Sunday vids. Thanks, guys.